Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to talk about the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo has released their trailer and they've announced that it's going to be coming around March. And in January, we should hear the specifications for the Nintendo Switch, the exact spec numbers, the sheets, what kind of processor it's using. And I'm, I'm thinking Nvidia is also going to have a sort of presentation about their new X processor for the mobile platform. And that's what we're going to look in today's video. Instead of talking about all that bullshit, people talk about the features that nobody really cares about. We're actually going to go in depth speaking about the internals, the hardware, the graphics card and the processor it's going to feature and maybe why it's going to be faster than the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 or maybe why it's going to be slightly slow. But with all that further ado, let's get started. Okay, so looking over the Nintendo Switch, before we actually get started, I wanted to let you guys all know that everything that we're going to be talking about in today's video is personally my own opinion, and you don't have to take it seriously, so in March when the Nintendo Switch is going to be released, we'll actually know the true power performance that it's going to offer with uh, some of the third-party developers that are making their games for Nintendo Switch, so we're just going to have to wait and see to be exact, but I'm just going to try to give you as much accuracy as possible uh, from somebody who actually understands how hardware and software works and give you an in-depth, uh, detailed video. And in January, I think the 10th or 12th, we'll actually know 100% what the Nintendo Switch is going to offer. It's been two years since Nvidia released their X1 processor. So I'd assume that after two years and with the Nintendo Switch being announced, you know, for its release in March and the spec sheets in January, I'd assume that Nvidia is also going to basically announce their brand new processor or graphics card, which is the Tegra X2. And assuming that every two years, actually this is true based on statistics, every two years when Nvidia releases a brand new graphics card, it's twice as fast at, as its ancestor. So the X1 will see double the performance from Maxwell architecture to the Pascal, which is going to be included in the X2 processor, we'll see double the power efficiency and if not double the performance and double the performance we're talking about games like crisis 3 running natively at 720p uh, at 30 frames per second bump it up to 60 frames per second double the performance at 720p native and you're looking at something that's more powerful than Xbox One and PlayStation 4. A few people are worried about the battery life in the Nintendo Switch, and I'd honestly say that you don't really have to wor be worried at all. See, the way NVIDIA graphics cards work with laptops is that when you're using your laptop on the go, you're using your Intel HD graphics, or the Intel HD graphics kick in, and you only sometimes use your NVIDIA graphics card, and the NVIDIA graphics card inside your laptop while you're on the go downclocks itself to around 70%, so it's not only a heating glass so you don't actually have to use your laptop's fan but it's also uh, basically not consuming as much power so you get more battery life that's what we're going to see with the nintendo switch is we're going to see the core clock of the graphics card down clock itself to say 250 megahertz uh, from 1500 megahertz and on the go you're going to get great battery life and still reasonable performance kind of like from the nintendo 3ds maybe better performance than that kind of like tablet performance so you'd see similar graphics to tablet games. But when you're actually docked in to the dock and playing on a 1080p screen, you're gonna see the performance go up and boost itself. That's why they include the fan. The fan is gonna be passive cooling. You're not gonna see the fan kick in when you're on the go, but when you're not on the go and you're plugged into the dock, I'd see why they'd include the fan because it is a very powerful graphics processor um, from Nvidia and you'll see the fan kick in and the core clock of the graphics card is going to overclock itself. But that's pretty much it what I have to say about the Nintendo Switch. About the titles, I don't really care about that right now. Uh, what we really need to understand is the hardware of the Nintendo Switch and in January we're going to find out the true specifications of it. But if you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. If you didn't like my video, go ahead and hit that dislike. If you want to see more future videos, subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next episode.